It all started in the 1890s when George McCullough, a key figure in the political and economic development of Muncie, Indiana, began to deed to the city of Muncie parcels of land along the White River north of present day downtown. Muncie's first city park, the 95 acre McCullough Park, was pieced together a parcel at a time. It all started in the 1890s. George McCullough owned a large portion of the railway and felt that the park would help promote his business as he, along with Arthur Brady, constructed a network of electric interurban railroads connecting Muncie with other Indiana and Ohio communities. Over the years, McCullough Park has been known for the bears and other animals in the old zoo, the soapbox derby hill, its playground, the old shelter house, the baseball field, and safety town. The zoo contained Puggins the bear, peacocks, monkeys, deer, and other animals, though they all were removed prior to 1960. The park was also home to a police precinct building where police officers would go to a building they called the Hill at the corner of Broadway and Highland Avenue to report for duty. In the past, the shelter house was a popular place to hold family reunions, a pastime that has recently lost interest and the shelter house became a meeting place for the participants in Muncie's famous soapbox derby. During the years of the Great Depression and the Second World War, the baseball field was often used. The Pittsburgh Pirates came to Muncie for spring training during the war, and the semi-pro baseball team, the Muncie Citizens, drew people to the park where they could watch their hometown team play the best semi-pro teams from the Midwest region. But the largest crowds appeared on the 4th of July to celebrate the holiday with music, ballet performances, baseball games, inspirational talk, and lengthy firework displays. Celebrations in the early 1930s attracted as many as 30,000 people, and the displays of 1954 attracted 40,000 people. 